Once again, friends, welcome back to my channel, Shenanigans 321. Today we're going to do, yet again, another Universal Young's Haul. And today, the country, we are going to be sampling the different products and snacks are from where? Germany, 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 Germany. Okay, so this is the box that comes in. You can get three different kinds of uh, Dolby sizes sent every month. And this is the midsize. This one has um, five plus some miscellaneous candies in there. And I'm going to allow this gentleman, my cohort host, excuse me, can't talk today, is, who are you? Me. I'm the co-host. No co-host. And what's your name? Evan. Oh, I'm pretty sure my your viewers and fans, not fans, no. Welcome fans, not welcome haters. Yeah, no haters allowed on our channel. So it's my grandson, he's 11 years old. And as he said, we are going to be exploring Germany. Now this package gives you these little score cards here. And at the end on our previous video from Czech, if you didn't see it, we forgot to say what our favorites and least favorites are. They give you these little fact sheets. They tell you all about what we're sampling. So we'll kind of be jumping around a little bit here. They also have this fun activity book that tells you everything we're gonna try for you on the Yum Shop. It has, oh, he's really good with the pronunciation, but it just tells you things um, about Germany and uh, the different snacks that we will be sampling. And, what about uh, the results for the uh, Czech Republic? Well, the Czech Republic, we both decided we had the same favorite, which was that cookie that was chocolate and coconut. What was the least favorite? My least favorite was the chips. Mine too. The jalapeno and... Uh, bacon. Do you want me to clean your glasses for you? I, yes. All right. So while I do that, maybe you can look in the book and find out. Remember where it had the pronunciation, or was that? Oh, here it is. Yeah, you can tell them some of the words. I can't really oh see. yeah, I can't see without my glasses either. Hold on, let me just clean these up here. He's like me. Our glasses get really dirty really quick. Here you go. Thanks. You're welcome, sweetheart. Okay, so. Lecker means tasty. Es flech. It means it tastes bad. Es is la la la. It tastes, uh, it's also frost. Cheers. Frost. Frost is cheers. Frost. Frost. So we got our water bottles. Easy. Well, he water. gets excited. And uh, it comes with these fun stickers as well. Now, we are going to apologize in advance because his two sisters, Delilah and Daenerys, are going to be here soon. So we're going to try to get through the video quickly, um, but yet significantly. So our first item is what? Uh, Dear's Little Chocolate. Okay, so while you open it, I'll tell them about it. This is one of Germany's most famous chocolates. I can't pronounce it. Stratilia bonbons. So they're bonbons. And for starters, it hails from Germany's oldest chocolate factory called Holleren, which opened all the way back in 1804. Secondly, it's by far the factory's most famous creation to date, cherished by sweet lovers all across the country. Thirdly, its iconic shape was designed to resemble the buttons on local salt miners' jackets. And lastly, it's filled with decadent Stratella, one of Germany's favorite flavors of gelato filled with cream and chocolate flakes. For uh, you're in for a whole new world flavor, and by that we mean Kuglan, a type of chocolate that translates to glow. And Kuglan is one of the most popular types of chocolate. This one is extra special. Yeah, there you go. Good job. The bon buns. I'm just gonna tilt it up. Just so. like the bon buns. Just like ah, uh, I want I like bon buns. I never tried a bon bun, and I'm gonna eat a bon bun. Okay, let's eat a bon bun. Cheers. Cheers. I forgot how you say it again. Oh yeah, and so take another bite so you can show them. When you take a bite, you can hold it up and show them in the middle so they can see what it looks like. Okay. Like just bite half. So it's got like a, how would you describe that filling? Mm -hmm. Like a nugget, hold it still, let me show you. So when people watch it, they have to block out the background and there's these little pieces of chocolate shavings and flakes in there. It's got it's like- Chocolatey flaky. A oh, sweet nougat. Yeah, sweet and chocolatey. Okay, I'm going to put on my scorecard what I think of that. One out of ten. 
This is good, bro. Pretty good. Very sweet. Okay. I'm gonna jump right into the next one. You pick your nose, lol. You pick your nose, you pick your nose, you pick your nose. Yeah, you pick your nose. So it says if you refuse to try anything, you have to wear that nose picker sticker. Refuse to do all of them? Mm hmm. All right. You got your score? I knew you were going to like that one. Next one is onion rings. Celebrate Weimer's Onion Festival. Once October rolls around, there's one particular festival in everyone's mind. And it's not Oktoberfest. That happens in September. You're talking about the Weimer Onion Festival originating back in 1653. That's a long time ago. As a way, it was a way for locals to share their onions for winter. It's Germany's oldest folk festival. 150 years, 57 years older than Oktoberfest. Again, talk. Today, over 300,000 annual attendees stock up on fresh onions, relish the famous onion pie, and watch the crowning of the Onion Queen Open up this outrageously crunchy, oniony yum, and you'll see what it's all about. What's it smell like? Smells like any particular one you did at the store. Like an onion ring? Yeah. Did you try one? Oh, they're tiny. They're tiny. Kind of like a funion. Uh-huh. Mmm. Germany's take on Frito Lay. Yeah, exactly. Mm. I would agree. Yeah? You're just like me. We have the same kind of taste, don't we? Yeah. You get here before your sisters devour the whole box to we'll eat it all. Yeah, we were struggling, so if you can, can, uh, can you can use some, like, AI to extend this to the regular format. Yeah, he's going to teach me how to do all that stuff. I don't know how. All right, next one, we're gonna go quick with this whole is ketchup fries. It's the ketchup potato sticks. It's the German snack for anyone who loves fries. Is any food combo as iconic as ketchup on fries? Do you like ketchup on fries? You like ranch, don't you? Yeah, but they like ketchup. Ketchup too. In Germany, yes, ketchup fries and curry wurst, the classic dish made by pouring a mix of curry powder and ketchup over grilled German wurst, sausage, and palmas fries. Was first made in 1949 Berlin. Now it's What's across all smell? major cities, but none other than Berlin. Okay, tradition for every mayoral candidate to have a photo op. Curry was standing here. I'll taste the ketchup, spicy ketchup and fries classic. Extra spicy snack. Oh, it's an extra crispy snack. Even without the worst, the snack might be Berlin's best. So it's popular. And <laughs> it smells so bad. Oh, yeah, that does smell different. It smells bad. All right, are you going to have to wear that pick your nose sticker or are you going to try it anyway? I'm going to try it anyway. All right, that's my trooper. So, yeah, this has um, curry in it. That's probably what you're smelling. Mmm. Mmm. It doesn't smell good, but it tastes good. Mm -hmm. It's very different. It's not like, like I thought it was like the cheese fries. You ever have those in the snack bag? No. And they're called like Andy Cat fries. Some are spicy. Oh, I don't know which one I like better. I'm not sure, Pen. Um, hmm. You know what? I like curry. I'm going to change my score on this one. Wait. I changed the onion ring one and changed that one. Very different. Definitely. I think out of all the snacks we tried, this is the weirdest. Because it's such a different flavor. Oh, now on to the waffle wafers. Waffle wafer double. You want to read it? Lemon wafer bar? It's crispy, crumbly, oath, and oh so lemony. Who doesn't love a squeeze of lemon on your schnitzel or a citrusy kit in a pot of crop? And there's all the lemon are incorporated in the you need to think Germany's learn our tricks would go on for miles. It's not safe to grow natively at all. That's why Germany is the second biggest supporter of the citrus in the whole world, spending almost 375 million every year. And when you're making sweet dishes with lemon wafers, you can understand why they're in such high demand. 
Okay. You know how to actually pronounce schnitzel perfectly. That's some big words for an 11 year old. Schnitzel. Lemon wafer bar, crispy, crumbly, and oh so lemony. It's going to taste really different with the curry. I'm going to rinse my mouth more. I'm getting rid of my dupe. Mm. You think Germany's lemon orchards would go on for miles, except they actually don't grow natively at all. So they don't have lemons in uh, Germany. They don't grow them like we do here. But it's the second biggest importer of citrus in the whole world. Wow. So they get a lot of uh, lemons and citrus, like oranges, limes imported. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Do you want to split one or do you want to eat the whole thing? The whole thing. <gasps> I, I can, now we can do the cheers, but just How I do you say it again? Prost. 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 Okay. Hmm. It starts out as a tsunami wafer, but then it becomes sour. It is sour. Yeah. Yeah, what, would you compare that to anything, any other food we have in the United States? I think this is like, basically, you know that, that hmm. candy that goes like, it's like sour and it's sweet? Oh, like um, like a warhead or a sour patch kid? Yeah, this is basically the same thing but reversed. So you think it's sweet and then sour? Mm -hmm. think this is why I need you to co-host this with me and need you to be running the channel when it comes to Universal Yum. So it's just going to be me and you from now on going forward because the way you describe things are ways that viewers that they don't know what they smell like, they don't know what it tastes like. But you're letting them experience what it's like for us. Do you like sour stuff? Yeah. I don't. Do you like sweet, sour, salty, or spicy the most? Sweet. Yeah, I like spicy and salty. All right, so I scored that one. Did you? It is different. You're right. It is sweet first, and then it gets sour. Mm-hmm. And you know the ones that we have here that have strawberry and vanilla and chocolate cream? They're like all sweet. They don't have that lemon, like a lemon curd kind of little cream filling. But it looks just like your sugar wafer we get here in the States. All right, what do we got next? Oh, wow, we're already on to the final ones. They didn't give us a lot in this box. I guess maybe their, their snacks are more expensive there. And what is this? The milk and honey caramels. It's a sweet unification of flavor on October 3rd, 1990. That's the year your dad was born. Germany's separate states were reunited as a single country for the first time in 45 years, which is why every year people all over the country celebrate October 3rd as the Unity Day. Parades, concerts, and fireworks make it easy to get in the spirit of unity. But what if we told you there was an excellent way to celebrate right now? And if you think the answer is these milk and honey caramels, then you'd be correct. They're a delicious union of creamy milk and sticky honey and a ultra soft caramel. You know who would like this? Who? Jay, Grandpa Jay, because he loves, it was fine. Mm. He, like, he likes honey, delicious. he likes honey a lot. I'm gonna save him a bite of this. These are delicious. Yeah? Yeah. The caramel, huh? Yeah. We gotta make caramel together. I make really good toffee caramel, kind of like candy bars at Christmas. But it's hard for grandma to get out here with the flights because the flights are always full because everybody goes home for Christmas. So there's the wrapper. Don't forget to throw it away if you ever get it. I'm going to save it for grandpa to try because he loves honey. He just will. You ever have those straws and they have like real honey inside them? I found more. Okay, well, hold on. Slow down. Let me finish this one. Slow your roll, kid. Okay. It's okay. Mmm. <laughs> wow. There's a lot of good snacks in this box, huh? They can't see your face on the camera. Wow. And then, then according to these are the sour fruit candies. Okay. So what? So lastly, now what they did on this is different. They sent us this little bag. Well, what's it say it's inside? 
Good things come in small packages. This package specifically, if we search the world for the very best yams, sometimes stumble on smaller treats that are big on flavor, but small in size. We gather them up in this yum bag so that you can discover one of the best bites in the world. So they just sent us miscellaneous candies. So you're gonna have to bite that in half and give me half. And this one is grapefruit. So is it sour? Imagine if we actually forced Dad to wear to wear that 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 too picky sticker. We should. Yeah, mm. we should. I well, he doesn't pick his nose though. He uh, he bites his nails. Do you bite yours too? Yeah, only when I'm scared. Only when you're scared. Mm. Wow, for grapefruit, I'm gonna pour that one. That was pretty good. I didn't think I'd like it. So I'm gonna put right here grapefruit because there's a couple different flavors. The thing is they only gave us a little, like one little one, so we gotta bite it in half the kids and Oh, this one's melting. It's okay. We'll it just melted it. into the wrapper. So what flavor is this? Apple. So we'll just do this. There we go. And then I'll just break it in half and I'll just take you can have a bigger piece, I'll just take a little piece. The next one is apple. The consistency is almost like a taffy. Same as a grapefruit. And this one is apple. What What was your rating for the caramel? Uh, 10. The caramel was my favorite so far. Me too. The apple. What about the wafers? No, oh, we'll review our scores before we... Shut it down. But you get anything you like, because I might like something you don't like. But you can cheat. I'll let you cheat. My handsome grandson over here. I haven't seen him in nine months. I was trying to come every three to six months, but it's been crazy with flights, and I fly out from St. George, Utah. Usually you'll connect through Salt Lake City, then you have to go to Chicago or Dallas, and then Dallas to Peoria. And uh, so that's like three, sometimes four flights, and then all the adventure just to get here. It'd be easier if I live like in Chicago, right? And I could just drive down all the time to see you. All right, what flavor is this one? Grape. Are they both the same? Yeah. I don't think it's grape. I think it's a different kind. Of, does that, that looks like a different kind of berry. It says Johannes Berry. I'm gonna take another little bite and I'll try the other one. Okay. So we'll just put berry for this one. So that's a different kind of berry. I don't think we have those berries here, huh? And that says, oh, here it is. Assorted sour fruit candies. Do you want to read it or do you want me? I want to. Okay. So Chewy candies and Four juicy flavors. There are some to learn with Old Gretel. It's that first charge of book for its cover. Or a house by its cake walls. Here's a sparkling sugar on the windows might be awesome. Which on the other side was, well, not super awesome. I got the right with this jump. That's it. But anyway, what you will reveal succulent burst of apples. Passion fruit, black fruit, or grapefruit. Oh, let me see. So that was the last one. Black currant. That's what it was. It was a black currant. A much, much better surprise than the evil witch, don't you think? I think. Now on to our rankings. All right. So that does conclude all the different snacks from Germany we tried. So comparison to Czech snacks or Germany snacks, which one do you think has better snacks? Um... So which one did you like better? I think Germany has better snacks. Me too. Okay, so what's your number one pick for German snacks? The caramels. Yep, caramels are mine too. So make sure they can see here in the camera, bud, because we keep moving out of frame. Yep, number one for me was the caramel. And then I also really liked the chewy candies were good. I'll, I'll tell you, okay, I'll tell you which one I didn't like. Because I liked everything else. 
The one I didn't really like too much was the, uh, the lemon. I don't think I like the lemon wafers too much. The ones that you said were sweet and then sour. I wasn't crazy about those, but definitely the caramels were my favorite. I agree with you. And I really like the ketchup fries because they're different. Because they were the weirdest tasting to me. Because I don't think there's any snacks that we have here in the States that taste like How come I agreed with you on the wafers despite them being good? Yeah, so did you like uh, the onion rings or ketchup fries better? The fries. Yeah, me too. Me too. Now. So anything you want to tell people other than to like, subscribe, and share our video? Like. Like, subscribe, share, and don't forget to um, get someone to air this on live TV. No, well, we could do live down the road. We still got to learn a lot about this stuff. It's only the second time he's ever done this. Okay. You did a great job. That wraps us up. Bye. And um, four minutes since last, but really, who cares? Bye, guys. Bye. Um, thank you for watching. Bye. Bye, bye. Beep, 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 beep.